today let's look ahead toward the draft. Hi everybody, this is Greg and welcome to my channel. This channel is dedicated to the Washington football team, formerly known as the Washington Redskins. So if you're new here, you're going to want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release. So as we're getting ready to head into free agency, uh, free agency officially starts in just two days on my birthday, March the 17th. So if you are still looking for a birthday present for me, how about subscribing to this channel? That would really help a fellow out and thank you. But I figured there's going to be plenty of time and plenty of videos that I can make this week on free agency. So I want to kind of leap ahead and start looking toward the draft. And in today's video, I want to kind of go over a couple of quarterbacks who have been tied to us possibly drafting. First quarterback being Trey Lance. Trey Lance is a very mobile quarterback. He's a very accurate quarterback. Got an extremely strong arm. A very, very good touch on his deep passes and he's able to beat you on the ground as well. He kind of reminds me of a cross between Patrick Mahomes and Russell Wilson, to be honest. I think if there's any knock on Trey Lance, it would probably be that he seems to favor his left side more than his right side. So he tends to not be as accurate throwing the passes back toward the right as he would be to the left. Of course, then again, Every quarterback that you're going to see in the NFL is going to favor one side or the other. So this is not necessarily a huge knock on him, but it is something to think about. The other thing to think about is the fact that it looks like he's only really had one full season at quarterback, which was in the 2019 season in which he threw for no interceptions whatsoever. So he had like about 28 touchdowns, I believe, to zero interceptions. Honestly, you can't get more perfect than that. And he had one pick this year, but he only played in one game. So it's something to kind of see, is this guy truly NFL ready? My thinking would be yes, because he comes from North Dakota State, which tends to run more of a pro-style offense. And for those of you who are wanting to know, well, what exactly do you mean by pro-style offense? Well, a lot of times, within a pro style offense, the quarterback is going to have to be responsible for being able to make the pre-snap reads on the defense and to adjust the protections accordingly. And that is something that's extremely huge for a college quarterback to have experience in when they get ready to go into the NFL. I almost feel like this is this really gives that college quarterback a leg up on this competition. And certainly the other thing is to make sure that he is, has the ability to be able to audible into the right play. So again, the thing that I think would be the biggest knock on Trey Lance would be the lack of experience, just because of the fact that he only played in one game this past season. He had that one great season with North Dakota State, and I think he threw for like one pass in 2018. And as you know, like with uh, Dwayne Haskins, for instance, he had one season under his belt and so I'm always a little worried whenever we think about quarterbacks who have had very little time within the college ranks to kind of you know develop their game but then again with him coming from a pro offense from North Dakota State I think this could be definitely uh, an advantage for Trey Lance now Chris Sims doesn't think that Trey Lance is going to go into the first round he thinks that he's going to be at least or at best into the second round, which may actually play into uh, the favor of the Washington football team. I would rather the Washington football team honestly use those higher round picks to solidify that offensive line. Yes, it's really, it's not the most sexy pick, but you know, it is definitely something that will go a long ways into building that offense up. The next guy on the list, however, if we do decide that we're gonna use a first round pick on, would be Matt Jones. Now, Matt Jones comes from Alabama. As we all know, the Washington football team seems to really love the Alabama folk. Matt Jones, I was able to sit down and watch some in-depth analysis, and he makes some accurate passes. He's a very accurate quarterback. He's very well under pressure as well. He's able to make some big plays downfield. He does tend to miss some of the bigger reads. For instance, there was, there was one play in general that I saw where he wound up throwing to his receiver who was open on the right hand side but uh, didn't have any room to actually make any yards after he called the pass or as John Madden used to say he was not able to make any yak. There was a wide receiver actually who was streaking downfield wide open. He had several steps ahead of the defender. If Mac Jones looked like he 
had plenty of room to step up into the pocket and make that pass. And had he seen that receiver, it would have been six points easily. But as we all know, you know, every quarterback is going to miss reads every now and then. And but that is something to kind of, you know, keep in mind with somebody like Matt Jones. Obviously, this is going to be something that, you know, you're going to want your quarterback to develop and be able to read the defenses and to be able to go through his progressions and find the hot read. And again, I always kind of go back to Chris Sims because, you know, him being a, a, an analyst and him being an ex-NFL quarterback, he's going to kind of understand the position a lot better than any of the rest of us, especially someone like me who's never played one down in the NFL, let alone play quarterback at all in football, although I did play football, but it was like a hundred years ago. He is very high on Mac Jones. He thinks that Mac Jones is definitely going to be one of the top 10 quarterbacks, so he's definitely going to think that Mac Jones is going to go into the first round. So I don't know. Right now I'm seeing some mock drafts that are having Washington being able to draft Mac Jones at 19. Is he going to be able to be there available at 19? I'm not quite sure. Do you move up to get Mac Jones? That, you know, that, that's a very good question. I'm not sure if I want Washington to be able to move up in the draft to get someone like Mac Jones, but I, I, th I think I would probably be okay to kind of sit back and wait and see if he falls into your lap. And I think we'll be able to know a little bit more about that once we get free agency going and we find out what's going to happen with some NFL existing quarterbacks right now. You know, of course, your Russell Wilsons, uh, Deshaun Watsons, uh, Marcus Mariota's, uh, Sam Darnold's, you know, those guys who have been rumored to uh, be moving on to a new team in the next season. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like and let me know in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think that Washington is going to draft either Trey Lance or Mac Jones? Um, are you interested in Washington drafting any of those quarterbacks or who else do you think that Washington may have an interest in as far as drafting? Is it going to be a quarterback in the first round, second round, third round? Who knows? As well, if you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. Your subscriptions help me to grow this channel and to get it out to a wider audience. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you will be notified whenever I go to release a brand new video. Thanks everybody, hope you enjoyed this video. And also, one more thing, hell to the Washington football team.